The first casualty of the Panama Papers scandal appears to be the Prime Minister of Iceland. According to media reports, the PM will resign amid the controversy over his offshore holdings. The massive leak of confidential documents purportedly reveals shady financial dealings by the global rich and powerful. The scandal that erupted Sunday has sparked a global outcry, prompted many countries to launch investigations into possible offshore money laundering by their own politicians and celebrities. Viewers Laditsa Hope reports. In Iceland's capital Reykjavik, thousands of protesters on Monday demanded the resignation of the country's leaders, whom many suspect of tax evasion and fraud. I'm just protesting the corruption of the government. Uh, and that the Prime Minister has been hiding his money in Tortola and lying about it. The Financial Minister has also been lying about his participation in secret companies. And everybody is just fed up with this. Investigative journalists say the documents show how the Panamanian law firm Mossack Fonseca helped clients launder money, dodge uh, sanctions and evade taxes. Panamanian President Juan Carlos Varela was among the first leaders Monday to promise a thorough probe of the scandal. We are an ally of all countries in the fight for transparency of the country's financial system, and not only our country, but all countries in the world. And we welcome any publication, any investigation, that will protect the financial systems of Panama and the world. Leaders of France, Germany, Spain and other countries also announced investigations to ensure their nation's coffers are not losing money because of fraudulent offshore dealings. Investigative reporter Will Fitzgibbon explained to VOA that the consequences of money laundering can mean loss of life, not just tax revenue. When we first started looking through the files, we came across the name of a company that had been alleged by the US Department of Treasury as having supplied oil and fuel to the government of Syria. And as we all know, Syria has been involved in a very deadly um, barrel bomb fueled war over many years. So the fact that this company, which allegedly had done these things, uh, was allowed to have offshore companies and to continue use, using them was for me a pretty stark example of how those two worlds of victim and offshore coincide. Fitzgibbon said the documents reveal specific requests by certain individuals and companies that Mossack Fonseca create offshore companies for them with the specific intention of paying less tax. The law firm that specializes in creating offshore shell companies denied any wrongdoing and called the leaked papers faulty. Zlatisa Hope, VOA News, Washington.